Hello everyone, welcome to our channel About Everything, where every video delivers captivating content, humor, and a zest for exploring anything under the sun. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to fix this Windows 10 error. So, I just powered up my computer and encountered an error message that stated the application couldn't run on my PC. To identify the version of my PC, I was advised to check with the software publisher. I am currently using Windows 10, and this error message consistently appears each time I start my PC. Despite the annoyance caused by this issue, I managed to find a solution that is working flawlessly. In fact, it has a success rate of 8000%. Furthermore, this method is applicable not only for Windows 10, but also for users of Windows 7, 8, 8.1, and even Windows 11. If this video proves helpful, please give it a like, subscribe, and don't forget to click on the bell icon for future notifications about similar content on this channel. Now let's delve into the solution. Before discussing how to fix the problem, it's essential to understand its root cause. If you are running a cracked version of the software and your antivirus deletes a file perceived as a virus, the application won't run, resulting in the displayed error message. Alternatively, if you're using software designed for a higher Windows version than the one on your system, such as Windows 10 or Windows 7, you may encounter this problem. To resolve the issue, you need to make three adjustments to your PC settings. First, check your user account control settings. Go to the search bar, type user account control, and click on change user account control settings. Set it to the second level. Which is the default setting? And click OK. Secondly, examine your local security policy settings. Search for local security policy and navigate to security options. Make three changes. Enable user account control, admin approval mode for the built-in administrator. Enable user account control, allow UI access applications to prompt for elevation without using the secure desktop. And ensure user account control. Run all administrators in admin approval mode is enabled. By making these adjustments, specifically setting the UAC to default and modifying the local security policy, you can resolve the issue with a 100% success rate. That's a quick and easy guide on how to fix this kind of error. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel about everything. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay informed about our upcoming videos. Until next time!